Okay, so I guess shortly after that time, Prince dropped 1999, which was like his biggest song at that point. Yeah. That was just a monster. <laughs> a monster. When you heard 1999, what'd you think? I mean, I knew what he was going for with it. I knew he wanted to be a pop star. He wanted a big pop record with a big fat pop hook, you know, and when I heard it, I said, you did it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I mean, I remember when it was about to turn 2000, that song was played <laughs> to death. <laughs> he had people wondering if we was going to make it out of here. I know, right? <laughs> so you guys go on tour with him again for the 1999 Triple Threat Tour. Yeah. And I guess the band was uh, playing for Vanity Six right. at the time. And Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis were starting to build themselves up as producers and they started doing a bunch of different uh, projects. They were doing the SOS band, uh, they were doing Climax, and there was a situation where they couldn't make it to a gig. Can you talk about that? Yeah, we, um, I mean, I knew uh, Terry and Jimmy were moonlighting and um, I, I was like, awesome, because I really wanted to do the same thing. <laughs> so, um, but, and they would have gotten away with it, you know, but this particular show we had in Atlanta, I think, or were they in Atlanta? Anyway, we had a show. They got snowed in somewhere. They missed the show, and that was pretty much the beginning of the end. We, um, after that, we retreated to, um, I want to say Sunset Sound or Cherokee Sound, one of those studios uh, right up the road here on Sunset. And uh, Terry and Jimmy uh, Prince called them in for a meeting. We were cutting um, ice cream castles at the, at the time, and uh, Terry and Jimmy come in. I had no idea what he had in his mind. So uh, me and Jesse Johnson and Prince sitting in the studio, and Terry and Jimmy come in, and he's, uh, you guys are fired. <laughs> Just like that. And, um, you know, I just kind of dropped my head because, and walked out of the studio because I never wanted to be in one of those bands with the revolving door. I was kind of like loyal to my bands and I always hated to see them switch members, whether it be a guitar player, a lead singer, bass player. You know, I just kind of liked, you know, the bands. I, you know, I get to know them the way I, you know, get to know them and I don't like to see that revolving door concept. So that's when I kind of realized that's where my band was heading and I wasn't, I wasn't too happy about it. Right, because uh, Monte Moore also uh, left the group yeah. right around that time. Yeah. And when you, you know, fast forward to Purple Rain, that's the current group. No Jimmy Jam, no Terry Lewis, exactly. no Monte. Right. It was the new band <laughs> at that point. Yeah. The new guys. <clears throat> okay, which leads me into the next part. So then you guys start working on Ice Cream Castle. This is your third album? Yeah. And you guys have had some strong records, but no huge smashes yet. So you guys, you guys start working on Ice Cream Castle, and you put together Jungle Love. How did that song come together? That song came together, a bass line submitted from Jesse Johnson really came, came up with the bass line, and Prince just took that ball and ran with it. Okay. Yeah. When you put when you yeah sorry, when you first heard Jungle Love, did you know that was a hit? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and and you know Jungle Love sounded like a hit to me. Um, the bird. I was on the fence with the bird because. We had a studio version of that song, that was supposed to be on the album, and the studio version was just super funky, and just clean, and it was hard hitting, and then Prince said, you know what. <laughs> he said, we're going to do the song live. He said, you guys are going to record the song live and we're going to use that version on the album. So, which the live version, I mean, it was really cool. It was a, bri a brilliant idea, but I still was kind of hung up on wanting to put the uh, studio version out. But it gave us bragging rights because there's not too many bands in history who have hit records that they performed live which was actual live recording. Yeah, great record as well. Yeah, yeah. But Jungle Love was my shit. <laughs> Let's just keep it 100 with you. I hear you. I love Jungle Love. Yeah. That's my, my favorite song that you guys put together. Cool, cool. Point blank. 